In an attempt to price a security, one might think expected value would do the job. But unlike many other fields, it may not. Uh, look at A. Here we have a 100% chance of getting 50. Mm, that's worth 50. Or B, where you gain or lose 10 uh, half the time each. So you have a 50% chance of 60 and a 50% chance of 40, and that's worth 50. Or C has the same gain, but more often, 80% chance of 60 and a 20% chance of losing 40, meaning getting a net 10, and that's worth 50. Hmm. Uh, let's look at another set of three, D, E, and F. Uh, you gain 50% uh, of the time three or lose three, the other, other half. Uh, expected value is zero. Or E, you gain nine 10% of the time. That's interesting. Uh, and only lose one 90% of the time. Expected value is zero. Uh, F, a 10% chance of losing nine and a 90% chance of gaining one, all three of these have the expected value of zero. And our old friend, the standard deviation, if I can call standard deviation a friend, uh, has the same variance of nine, the same standard deviation of three. Now what are we going to do? Well, what we're going to do is evaluate not the expected value, but the expected utility. Expected utility meaning, well, first the happiness, the utility uh, an outcome provides, and then the people evaluate their expected happiness. And if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. And a nicely behaved function, but not necessarily the only one, is to take the log of a wealth position. And some other people will uh, use the square root and some other functions. And what we're going to do is compute the certainty equivalent, meaning how do I price that backwards, meaning uh, the value that would have given me that utility had it not been a gamble. And of course, once we have the certainty equivalent, we can figure out the difference or vice versa, the uh, gain or loss, the premium or the discount. And what I mean by vice versa is sometimes people think, well, what should the premium be? How much more? The certainty equivalent. Or the discount, the discounted certainty equivalent. Well, let's go back and look at the numbers we started with. Uh, there they are, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay. And uh, yeah, they all have an expected value of uh, 50. And this time I've added the standard deviations for B and C. Uh, you might recall C was pretty darn unattractive and uh, sure enough has the worst standard deviation. But now I've calculated the certainty equivalent. That's the dollar value which gives you the same utility had it not been a gamble from the expected utility of the gamble. We'll do that again later. And uh, sure enough, C which has a pretty ugly standard deviation, has the worst discount of eight bucks. And D, E, and F are close by pennies, but we will see that one's slightly a little bit better than the other. And in fact, it turns out the one that we kind of liked before has a better price, a lower discount. Well, let's see. Let's look at the utilities of these. Uh, 25 utility of 5, uh, 75 utility of 7.2, expected utility, here they're 50% each, of 6.1, halfway between the 7.2 and 5 for the expected utility. Let's see, the certainty equivalent is what kicks back the same happiness had it not been a gamble. And the amount that has the same utility is 6.1 is 43 bucks, a discount of seven. Now, how do we get that? Again, certainty equivalent is that utility that kicks out the dollar amount had it not been a gamble. The gamble is the expected utility. There it is, 6.1, halfway between the two utilities, kicking it back right. What does the dollar amount turn out to be? 43 bucks. Pretty cool, huh? 
Let's go back to our old graph and uh, take this latest one we just did, the uh, 75, 25, 50% uh, chance of gaining or losing 25 each, and we're going to, of course, call it G. And we're going to add it up there. Uh, expected value is 50. Good, good, good. And the standard deviation is 25. And Whoa, wait a minute. Look at this. C. Remember we did this before? Standard deviation is 20. Discount was 8, using expected of utility certainty equivalent. And G, which has a greater standard deviation of 25, greater than C's, but a smaller discount. Now, if you think about it, that makes sense. C had a worse absolute outcome. So where does that leave us? Well, some wags would say we should throw out standard deviation. Uh, not so fast. Uh, some would say let's use utility. And indeed, notice the, uh, uh, the log function I used here seemed to make a lot of sense. And those of you who are real good with numbers know that I used different numbered logs than the ones you might uh, use on your computer. That's OK. And you know what? Let's do both. Because people's utilities do change over time, given circumstances, crises, and anything else you can think of with Dr. C. Invests.